G'day, we're gonna have a look at this HP Vickers 15. It's a 15 inch, very affordable gaming laptop. Now this is powered by the 12th gen Intel Core and it also houses the GeForce RTX 3050. Now we're gonna have a look at the temperatures and fan noise, we're gonna look at the internals, some of the features of this laptop as well. Now, as always, I will be putting timestamps along this video so you can skip to a different section that may be interested to save you time. The display is a 15.6 inch IPS display. It does have an anti glare or matte finish to the display, so it actually does all right for reflections even when it's outdoors and it does have low blue light. It does have a full HD display with a refresh rate of 144 hertz now the actual bezel is quite narrow on the sides and it's decently narrow on the top when i performed the ufl ghosting test i did find it exhibit a bit of ghosting measuring the color gamma coverage of the full hd display which has a maximum brightness rating of 300 nits it resulted with 60.6 percent srgb coverage 42.3% Adobe RGB coverage and 43.3% DCI-P3 coverage. This is a recording from the 720p webcam from the Vickers 15. This is the video and the audio unedited so you can hear and see what the quality of the webcam is like. And as always for this test, I've got two types of lights currently turned on. I've got my one studio light turned on and also the down lights in this room turned on for ambience. I'm going to turn off my one studio light off. You'll see this adjust now. There are two down lights in front of me. That it's quite far away and they don't have much light heating on my face. So this is what I consider a dark environment. As just finally see that it's finally adjusted. Now, if you're in an office environment or you're outdoors, you should have much more light than what I'm currently at. Now, I'm going to turn my one studio light back on. Let's see this adjust. Now, of course, better quality light should give you better quality picture. Definitely love to hear what your thoughts of this 720p webcam. Put a comment below. There are two speakers located on the bottom side on either side of the laptop. They are bottom firing speakers and when I tested at the maximum volume of the speakers it managed to measure in at a peak of 86.2 decibels. I consider this probably in the medium range compared to other speakers. The speakers are by B&O and as for the sound quality of the speakers it does have some bass but I find the bass very average and it's not that punchy or deep bass. Now, as for the overall sounding, it's quite hollow sounding. We have very strong highs and it is balanced towards the mid highs is what I will consider that. And the clarity is generally pretty good, but definitely the speakers can definitely see a lot of improvements for an area that HP can improve on. We have a full size keyboard with the number pad on the right. Now the number pad on the right isn't squished or anything, it's actually your normal full size keys. And for each individual keys, we have a very smooth surface and they are very quiet keys to actually press. They actually don't make that much sound. And we have pretty much what I say, a single actuation. So it's pretty much you just press it in and out, it rebounds very quickly. So it is actually a very fast keys. The keys are backlit and there are only two settings, on or off. As for the trackpad, it is a decent size trackpad for a 15 inch and it is very glass silky smooth finish to the feel of it it's very responsive and it is a mechanical trackpad so it's hinged at the top and you can depress it as you move way down the weight of the vicus 15 is 2.34 kilos plus the 200 watt power adapter becomes a combined weight of 2.96 kilos you might be carrying around with you the Vickers 15 comes with a decent 70 watt hour battery and I managed to get 5 hours and 13 minutes for modern office battery life test for PC Mark 10, 1 hour and 15 minutes for gaming and 6 hours and 3 minutes for video playback in the Procon battery life test. This is pretty much par with a lot of gaming laptops in this category. As for the temperatures and fan noise for the Vixus 15, when I took my measurements, the ambient temperature in the room was 20 degrees Celsius, and ambient room noise measured in at 35 decibels. Now, just to give you a bit of reference point, your average hand is anywhere between 33 to 35 degrees Celsius, just to give you an idea how hot or how cool this laptop could be. So I took my base measure when the computer was idle and the hottest air around the keyboard measured a maximum of 28 degrees. Celsius and as for the fan noise it stayed at 35 decibels. 
possible. So pretty much dead solid. And the average internal core temperature was 29 degrees Celsius. Then I put 20% load on the computer. That's pretty much average juice. So it's tasks like office productivity work, surfing the web, streaming video. And the hottest area around the keyboard measured a maximum of 31 degrees Celsius. And as for the fan noise, again, it stayed dead solid at 35 decibels and the average internal core temperature was 37 degrees Celsius. Then I put 50% load on the computer and the hottest area around the keyboard measured a maximum of 35 degrees Celsius. And as for the fan noise, it did spin up a little bit, measured in at 37 decibels. And the average internal core temperature was 56 degrees Celsius. Then I put 100% load on the computer in performance mode and the hottest area around the keyboard measured a maximum of 42 degrees Celsius. And as for the fan noise, spun all the way up to a maximum of 47 decibels and the average internal core temperature was 71 degrees Celsius. I also put the VIX 15 in maximum fan mode so allow this fan to spin at its maximum rate and the hottest area around the keyboard did drop down to a maximum of 40 degrees Celsius. And as for the fan noise, it measured in a maximum of 51 decibels. The average internal temperature did drop down to 66 degrees Celsius. Also measured in the bottom back cover where I had 100% load and the hottest air around the back cover measured in a maximum of 67 degrees Celsius. I really don't advise putting this laptop on your lap while it has a lot of workload or if you're playing games as it does run quite hot on your lap. Now also to take note, most of the heat is actually located on the right hand side of the computer, specifically more above the number card, but even then, when this computer is running computing or it also is gaming, this is not a side you normally touch. As the was key, that was absolutely very, very cool. You actually don't really feel much heat coming from that side at all. So this is actually really practical while this is in gaming, you actually don't feel most of the heat, which is absolutely fantastic. Have a quick test of the thermals and also have a quick look at the processor performance of a long duration tasks. This Vicus 15 is configured with an i7 12650H processor. Looking at Intel website reports that this processor has a maximum total boost for the performance cores at 4.7 GHz and efficiency cores at 3.5 GHz for this processor. Has a base clock speed of 2.5 3 gigas, so we want to see this trying to sit above 2.3 gigas would be absolutely fantastic. Now, this computer has pretty much a lot of load running on all the system resources, so that's a processor, memory, also the storage, and also the discrete graphics and then the internal graphics as well. And this has been going for over two and a half hours, and I can see the speed of the processor is ranging anywhere between 2.2 to about 2.5 gigahertz. Well, I'll just average that out around about 2.3 gigahertz. So that is sitting most of the time sitting above the 2.3 gigahertz, which is absolutely good to see. So we're not getting too much thermal throttling. Uh, there is quite a bit of thermal throttling, but we are sitting anywhere between 70 to about 73 degrees Celsius for the internal core temperatures for the processor, which means there is still a bit of headroom to go above there, up to 90 degrees, but sitting not as comfortably with a nice temperatures of about 70 degrees Celsius. So that's good to see that that's there, and we are having above the base clock speed most of the time. So the thermals are working and it's not grazing loud at all. So overall, I think HP has done a good job on maintaining a quiet system while also keeping the actual speed of the processor. Not crazy thermal throttle, but we actually do have quite a bit of performance still at this long duration tasks. Now I'm going to have a look at the hinge first before we have a look at the build quality of this computer here. Now for the hinge itself, let's just do the one finger test and that is pretty smooth all the way through. That is nice and that is what it can actually open up to. You're probably looking at what I say about 140 degrees uh, for what you can do or 130 degrees that's the maximum thing there and again we're going to quickly just close this up and see how the clamping now does let go here so unfortunately just the hinge itself does it's probably could be a little bit improved on the hinge but it does let it go as it comes through but it is a very smooth hinge all the way through uh, on the pressure there so that's nice to see now as for there again it does a wobble a little bit and again that's the same thing when you actually have the, the clothes it's probably not something that you'll probably do a lot on a gaming laptop uh, this is just something that's probably as this is more likely just sitting on the 
on pretty much a desk and then you work on it and you don't really move the actual display and you does not you've got touch display neither so that's not really a big problem for this hp invictus 15. now as for the build quality this thing is pretty much what i would say eh, it's probably made of mostly of just plastic uh, for the top bottom cover and also the actual palm rest itself but it's actually it's got a bit of structure to there and it actually feels quite very rigid as we just do that bend it oh twist this nah that's not bending as i think a lot of people love more how i do with this and keyboard flex takes quite a bit of punishment i can definitely feel that i don't feel it actually giving too much away for that that's kind of nice here and i think this is just generally well built his benchmarks results perform on the hp vixus 15. his results for pass mark city bench r23 pc mark 3d mark geek bench Crystal Disk Mark, Cross Mark, Procon Office, Procon Photo Edit, Procon Video Edit, Fugan Photoshop, Fugan Lightroom, Fugan Premiere Pro, Fugan DaVinci Resolve, Blender, Lux Mark, Fur Mark, Octane Bench, Eugene Engine, and Spec View Pref. and some gaming benchmarks like Assassin's Creed Valhalla Far Cry 6 Cyberpunk 2077 and F1 2022 Let's have a quick look at the internals. First off, we've got the 70 watt hour battery at the bottom and we've got the battery connector right here. Now, above the battery, we've got the first primary slot of M.2, which is the SSD for NVMe. And I can see there's headers for the second one, but we do not have the slot for it. So maybe in another model where they actually reuse this system board, uh, I can see this there have a room for another SSD. But at the moment in this particular model here we only got one slot of m.2 now we've got two sole dim slots for the memory or ram and then we've got the wi-fi bluetooth module right over here uh, it's got a twin system fans and i can see twin heat pipes as well pretty nice design now on this channel when i perform laptop reviews my usual procedure is actually have a quick look at the specs and then i'll do the hardware tests and then have a good general feel of the laptop and playing with it and taking it out and about and just having a good play with it and then after the end i'll have a good little guessing game on having what i think is a fair price for the market price and then i'll have a look at the price being the very last thing so i'm not really biased to what the laptop because of the price but geez when i had a very end and looking at the actual price of this hp vixus 15 i was absolutely shocked by it now what i would consider as a good what i think was a price range for this what i believe for its performance and its usability and all the features i was thinking around about the 20 $200 mark here in Australia as the recording of this date but I was very shocked by it as this was selling for way more cheaper than that which is absolutely fantastic on your end as this was what I found was priced around about the $1400 mark here in Australia wow absolute shocking and seriously the actual performance of this is Hey, really decent we've got a decent display we've got a good keyboard and trackpad the speakers are actually decent enough they could be improved we definitely like to see it and the webcam even though it's 720 it'd be nice to have a 1080p webcam as we're in these days but this in terms of the fan noise very well controlled and it's not extremely loud when it's in the highest performance mode compared to all of some of the laptops that's come on this channel and geez I was really blown by its price. So I think I can easily recommend this HP Vickers 15, especially what the specs it comes with as well too. So absolute fantastic job, HP. And I hope you find this video informative and enjoyed it. If you did, it would support my channel. Smash that like button for me. Share this video, it does help me out as well. And as always, imperfections in life makes it beautiful and interesting. And I'll see you next video.